Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the new David Oliver Shake Library. David Oliver Shake is a comprehensive collection of 95 shakers, tambourines, rattles, and bells from all over the world. This deep and stylistically expansive sample library focuses on live performance grooves, fills, rolls, flourishes, and individual sampled hits by David Oliver, who's a British instrumentalist and media composer. David meticulously selected this bundle of highly recordable instruments amongst the most sonic and dynamically useful shakers in his grand collection. David Oliver Shake is also made for the free Contact 6 player and is compatible with all NKS standard hardware. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features that come within David Oliver Shake. So you can see from the image behind me of all the different shakers and instruments that come with David Oliver Shake, there's a lot of stuff to use and choose from. Different NKIs as well for loops, as well as being able to play it as you know, just a straight individual hits, multi-sampled and with different velocity layers and dynamic layers. So right now I have the shake bells loaded up. So let's just go ahead and play through that. I have it set to the all bells category. So this is perfect if you were doing any sort of like Christmas type tracks and you want that kind of And then you also have layer two, which has all the same instruments and articulations. So if you want to layer them up, you can do that too, or you can just use the all bells and just have them all laid out. So you can just, you know, you have all the different shake bells at your fingertips. This library also comes with some ambiences as well. So let's say, let's just go ahead and turn this on. I'll go ahead and bypass layer one for now. And all of these ambiences are handcrafted from the source material. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out the Sheikh Kabasa. And then we got some maracas. And then we got some original recipe. So a ton of different shaker sounds in this one. And then we got some rattles. And then also, if you want, you can go into the advanced tab where you can apply some LFO filtering and arpeggiation. So if you wanna turn on the arpeggiator, just select a random preset and just and then if let's say you find a rhythm that you like but you wanted a little bit of a, a different rhythm you can go ahead and apply some different rhythms you can change the direction
And then we got some other shaker sounds. So, so many different sounds to choose from. So this would be perfect for applying the arpeggiator. So let's keep exploring. We got some other sounds to choose from. And then we got some headed tambourines. And then we got some headless tambourines. So as I mentioned earlier, there's also a folder for loops as well. So let's just go ahead and start playing through some of these. So this UI is a little bit different than the one previously that we had for the individual sampled hits. So if you want to go ahead and start searching for some different loops, you can go and click into here and you'll see all the different loops labeled. Uh, you can search for them by, you know, whatever type of meter you want. If you want to search for a different tempo for a certain category, you have all of these as well. Or you can just go ahead and just scroll through and just find some different ones. So these are all sliced up and if you want you can actually go through and start the loops in different spaces. So each slice corresponds to these green keys as well. So with each of the loops, they're all sliced. So with having each slice uh, corresponding to a specific key, it gives you a lot more flexibility as far as using the loops and customizing them in your own way. So let's go ahead and check out the Kabasa loops. And if you look a little bit lower on the GUI, you'll see that there's a mode, playback, slice order, some filter types, and some different effects that you can apply as well. So if you want, you can change the mode to beat or sync so it syncs with your host tempo. You can change to where the playback is reversed so you have this kind of sound. And then you can change the slice order, you can go backwards. Or you can just change it to random. So these different options are really cool because it gives you a lot more flexibility, even more, to take the loops and just really make them your own. Let's just cycle through some of these loops. And some other cool things you can do as well if let's say let's go into the pan and we'll click this little pencil button right here and let's just draw in a bunch of just random random panning 
So now what we can do is hear how it's panning around. So that's even cooler. Now you can take a single sound and make it sound like there's more shakers in the room and just kind of spread out in the stereo field. And you can also do this for pitch as well. So let's say, let's, let's draw in some just random pitch curves, just get crazy with it. Just uh, something like this. See what happens. So it's a cool feature to have. It allows you to kind of apply a little bit more pitch aspects to the different sounds so you can get a little bit more musical with it too. These are the maraca shakers. And what I'm doing now is I'm just playing with some of the different effects at the bottom as well. And you can turn these on, turn them off, and just use them in random ways. Or you can go into the effects rack where there's also some more effects that you can use as well. Then you can also go into the effects rack, change the reverb. Then we got some shaker loops set one. And then if you want to just change them around, you can go into here, you can control click the preview. And if you like that, you can go ahead, select it, and now that's your loop. And then if you want, you can just go ahead, come into here, draw on some crazy panning. So it'll sound like it's So cool stuff like that. And then we got shaker loop set two. So you can program this however you want. You can set it to where you can key switch. So down here, these red keys will correspond to these different banks. So if you have certain loops that you like, you can just go ahead and program them. Let's say you want to go into slot two. Uh, let's go ahead and... So let's say we like that one. Let's hit select. Now in loop two, so and then you can go ahead and key switch these in so that way they change in real time.
So as you can see, David Oliver Shake is a super fun and inspiring library, and we want this to be your go-to whenever you need some inspiring loops or just some various different shaker sounds for your next track. And also this works perfectly with Rhythmic Odyssey, which is the first collaboration that we did with David Oliver. All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of David Oliver Shake. If you'd like to learn more about the library or hear some demos to check it out in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.